Hey guys, in this video I am going to cover basically setting up a wizard campaign but doing it manually so you're not actually using the wizard. Um, it's a little more advanced technique. I generally prefer using the wizard but sometimes setting it up manually just so you have a little more fine grain control works better. Uh, this is also a user requested video. So, I figured I should get it done. Um, so first we're going to get started by going to new and then setting up a campaign. So, make this one, uh, I guess, just a uh, demo. Set up a campaign. Alright. So you can see we don't have any projects, profiles, URLs, and all of that. Come on. So the first thing you're going to need to do if you're not going to be importing profiles to use is obviously setting up your account creation project. So I'm just going to have one for this. And I'm just going to go through each module here and kind of set things up. We're going to make this kind of small and I'm not actually going to run any of these. I'm just going to set everything up. So set up. So we've got a project profile set up. We're actually going to set this up. So we have an email address. All right. And then you can see that it will automatically clean the cookies and everything before it gets started, and it will verify the emails after creation. So that's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and close that. Uh, so our account creation set up. We've got our profile. We can now use that in our projects. So we will set up a social networking project. So this will be our first linking that actually gets done back to our site here. So we will select our profile we created. Set up our URL lists for page URLs and access fees. Save that. Uh, I'm not actually going to set up the content. You would do that the same. Throw in your article, put your link in the article, or if you want to do more than one, that's fine. However, you feel like doing it. Um, tags. This is all just done content demo. demo. Title spinnable. Highly, highly, highly suggest you spin that. Um, I normally go out to an article site and pick at least 20 or 30 different article titles and have those spun. So that's generally then in a social networking run, each title is only going to be used once and they're going to be very good titles generally as opposed to running through a spinner and having it come, having it come back with crap um, that's not going to be a lot of good um, so generally if I actually had accounts created in this profile I would select with accounts um, but that's not going to actually return any because I don't have any accounts and you're going to want to go through and on the two sites that you need a category, select your category. So we'll just select all, call it good. So we have our social networking project set up. Uh, next, we're setting up accounts for social bookmarking, so we'll get that set up. And this is kind of where I actually have to do a little bit of work. Okay, so we're going to use the same profile. 
I'll actually throw on into a different URL list. Bookmarks. Bookmarks. All right. So instead of putting in URLs here, we want to use URLs from the URL list social networking. And because we're going to set up a multi-day schedule for a social networking and then we'll chain this project behind it when we actually get into the schedule and we want to only use URLs from the last 24 hours. Um, here we're going to auto select categories hopefully general technology Seem to get most of them that were oh, entertainment. Forgot about that. Got most of them that were English. What is that? So those all have categories selected. Again, I would generally just do the select with accounts. We'll just select them all. Um, so we have title and tags. So I have three tags. Um, the title and the description, I normally just take my spun titles from the social networking project and use that for both the title and the description. Um, bookmarks are horrible quality links, but they help with indexing. So the quality of the content on the bookmarking page isn't going to affect that greatly. So it's quicker. That's why I like to do it. Uh, Alright, so our social bookmarking project is set up. Uh, we're also creating URLs for an RSS project. So we will set that up. Uh, let's see if I scoot this over here. And the, uh, Select a profile, URL list, really doesn't matter because it's not going to output any URLs, so I'll just use the bookmark list. Um, we're going to have the same setup for the RSS feeds to submit. We're going to select to use our social networking RSS list. And only using the URLs for the last 24 hours, we're going to chain this project as well. Um, we will leave it. I forgot to mention this with the bookmarks. I normally just leave it at submitting two to each site. Um, however, many you want to do is up to you. That's not going to really change anything. I think if you want to do one, that's kind of a waste of time. If you do more than two, then it kind of starts looking spammy. We're going to be having too many related sites linked from the same profile, which I don't really like, so we won't do that. Two, three. Oh, here we'll select our categories again. Select all the sites again. Alright. Let's see, I don't think I had any other social sites. Oh, press release. Okay, I'll set those up. So we'll set up a press release project. Good. Press release. 